Hello there, I'm Mikko from the Body of Christ. Today I'll be sharing with you a proverb or a story, maybe a parable even. And um, <laughs> let's hope it, it will be edifying. I hope you'll find it interesting at least. So let's first start with the scripture so we have something to think about during this parable. And this scripture is from the, what's the name of the book? Anyway, Solomon's the preacher's, preacher's word after the book of Proverbs. I can't pronounce the name of this book, sorry. But anyway, pretty uh, familiar statement if you read, read the book. Um, here it says, the thing in verse 9, the thing that had been comes to pass again and the thing that had been done is done again. There is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said? Lo, this is new, for it was long ago, in the times that have been before us. The thing that was past is out of remembrance. Even so, the things that are for to come shall no more be thought upon among them that come after. And that are Solomon's thoughts, at least, uh, is the son of David, the preacher, king of Jerusalem, sounds like Solomon to me, who was also the wisest man of his time, if not of any every time. Of course, the one that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than John the Baptist. But anyway, that's the second second issue. So let's start with the parable, and I'll be improvising a little bit here. The parable is about monkeys. And there is this community of monkeys who live quite peacefully. And these monkeys, by nature, they are very trusting towards each other. They think that monkeys are basically good and that they like to do things together. They like to form groups and they like to have fun activities together. And all in all, they're living quite happy lives. Sometimes they have strife and sometimes they separate into monkey groups and um, have some battles together if they are really really differ different because um, monkeys also happen to be somewhat greedy that's their downfall they're a little bit greedy they want those bananas and um, one day into this uh, community or not really into the community but one day there comes a lizard this lizard guy here let's give him a hat like so. So, a lizard man. And he takes one of the monkeys, or meets one of the monkeys, a little bit in secret. Because lizards, by nature, are very secretive. They're kind of scheming also, but they make themselves appear very friendly. So this one uses uh, this sort of uh, decorative apparel and looks like very friendly. And he speaks to this this monkey about some new ideas and he's like he says that this monkey uh, flatters them about how how wise they are and that he's a very developed monkey he's a very intelligent monkey and monkeys of course they like to feel very intelligent so this monkey is given like this sort of special hat that this he's very intelligent and also this lizard gives him some bananas just so that he can enjoy his intelligence and this this monkey of course is very happy about that and goes back to his community and shares shares the bananas or shows that he has bananas of course other monkeys start start um, trading things for the bananas and soon he becomes very rich he has all these stones and these nice gemstones here and he also has some monkeys helping clean the house and uh, because this lizard guy keeps giving him these um, bananas but one day when he comes to the lizard man the lizard man doesn't have bananas for him and the monkey is like oh no I like bananas. I'm used to bananas now. 
uh, and what must I do to get bananas? And the lizard man says that, yeah, I got some more bananas, but they're not so easy to get. So I just need you to do a little favor for me, okay? Yeah, I want you, when you go to the other monkeys, who now respect you a lot, uh, I want you to teach them this this little thing here, this nice idea that I, I came up with. This is the theory of uh, things getting better over time. And um, monkeys like, well, I mean, that sounds reasonable. I got my bananas, I get to feel better. So he goes and he shares this nice idea about things getting better over time. And the monkeys are like, wow. And also, they are thought that um, they, as these special monkeys who live right now, are a lot better than the monkeys that were before them. And uh, they, of course, have these elderly monkeys, these very old monkeys in the community as well. But they're kind of, uh, they're not so well, well connected with these younger monkeys anymore. And um, they don't even notice that there's this thing. But these monkeys start to have their own little group. And they no longer listen to the older monkeys. Because the older monkeys are stupid. Because they came before the younger monkeys. That's why they're stupid. Because the lizard said so. I mean, not the lizard, but the wise monkey. The wise monkey said so. And now this happens a couple of times. This lizard, of course, gives some other ideas for this wise monkey to teach. And he's well, uh, well compensated, of course. And they live kind of happily. Um, of course, now these, these monkeys here have to work. They have to go to work to get more bananas and other things. So they, they all start serving this um, monkey guy here. And one day they decide that um, trading bananas is uh, really quite convoluted, you know, because you have to carry your banana bag around. And that's quite heavy. So, and of course, because someone, someone's responsible for holding the banana, bananas. And that's the lizard, of course, it's banana, banana capita. And, uh, <laughs> sorry if I'm messing this up, <laughs> but they don't want to carry the banana bags. And the lizard has promoted this idea that let's, instead of carrying banana bags, let's carry papers that declare that we have bananas in the banana capita. And uh, so they agree on that. So now they like to create these uh, papers instead of bananas. And whenever they get hungry, they go to the banana capita to get some bananas. And that's good. Of course, some some of the monkeys have to uh, work and climb into the trees to get the bananas. And when they give bananas to the capita, they get uh, these tickets. But what's so special about this is that now this lizard doesn't have to give bananas to this, this guy anymore. He just gives tickets now. And, but he gives a lot of tickets. He gets, gives a lot more tickets than this, this worker monkey here gets. Because this worker monkey only can climb like 100 trees a day. So he gets like um, four tickets a day. And that's his, his reward for climbing the trees and collecting the bananas. But this uh, wise monkey uh, gets gets like 10 tickets a day because he's wise and he speaks good things to the other monkeys. But after a while, uh, it seems like the monkeys have to work harder in order to get the same amount of bananas. Seems like there's some sort of lack of bananas and they're not really happy about that. They're starting to think what's going on. Why are the bananas disappearing? 
and um, even though they work really hard there are now like so many banana monkeys uh, climbing the trees and collecting bananas but even though they do that all the time as for some reason the tickets are running low or that the man banana is running low you need more and more tickets for the bananas now you need three tickets for one banana and that's pretty bad because uh, the the climbing mon monkey monkeys only get four tickets a day so they can only get one on a third banana <laughs> a day and that they're starting to get hungry so they of course starting to form these communities and of course the lizard also speaks to one of the worker monkeys here and he says oops, he's, he's a very friendly looking lizard and he says that you really ought to have more bananas you know and you need to stand up for your rights and he gives gives some banana tickets to this one wise and very effortful monkey worker so that with that condition that he promotes certain ideas so the monkey man <laughs> monkey man the worker monkey goes to his other worker monkey friends and says we should have more bananas and that's of course true the worker monkey guys are are agreeing on that so they start strike now the worker monkey guys start to start uh, to have quarrels with the farmer monkey guys because the farmer monkey they are responsible for taking care of the um, the places where the bananas grow so they they invest into that sort of thing but there starts to be this quarrel and of course uh, there are other there are many kinds of monkeys this this lizard is very very sly and very slick and he's he has uh, many monkeys that he's talking to so he's talking to this wise monkey here the educational monkey who tells others about good ideas the lizards lizard gives him he also tells about just these shelter monkeys who shout messages on the streets so these these monkeys their idea is to speak what's what's going on in the monkey world and now that <coughs> they have listened to the lizard man they have heard about new dangers that are possibly affecting the mon monkey population there are certain uh, diseases that affect certain bananas and they must not be eaten or people might die monkeys might die if they eat, eat those bananas also there's other tribes of monkeys that are very evil they are the the Chinese monkeys and the Russian monkeys they are the evil monkeys and they're planning an attack on, on the monkey community to steal their bananas so they need to be very careful about that as well and of course there's coming a banana crisis that, that's the, what they predict that the prices of the bananas, bananas will go up and there will be, be no more bananas left for the banana community uh, monkey community so there's doom and disaster coming and, and lots of poverty coming so this is what the monkey showed shout in the streets uh, because that's what they heard and they're very trusting in nature so they they tell on what was tell, told to them plus they get bananas and the tickets for telling that story so you know you got to do something to live you know <laughs> and of course the other monkeys are, are also very trusting and they don't necessarily trust lizards so much but they like bananas but what they do trust is they trust monkeys and that's why they trust this wise monkey here because he's a monkey plus he's monkey of their community he's the very proud member of the banana monkey community which is the best community in the whole earth the banana monkey community is the the, the best 
country, best community in the world. That's important to know. Um, <laughs> but now there starts to be this this fear among the monkeys, and and they are not they are kind of unsure what to do. They're starting to be afraid because they hear about all these uh, disasters coming, and also they see that the tickets are not uh, buying as many many bananas as they used to before. So they need need some help. But of course, this lizard man here has spoken to yet another monkey, and he's the wise governing monkey. At least that's his name after that he took this position, uh, according to Lizard's wise. So these shouting monkeys, of course, say, say that they need a savior, and they need someone to take care of them because. Um, it is so very dangerous to be a monkey. And what they need is a strong monkey that can defend them and that can fight their battles and that can defeat the evil Russian and Chinese monkeys and that can protect their community. And as a reward for the protection, the monkeys will give uh, two thirds of their tickets to this governing monkey that will protect them so now the monkeys are more organized there's the governing monkey and of course immediately the governing monkey gets uh, also gets uh, help so he he selects some other monkeys who are extraordinarily talented and wise and he tells them that they're extraordinarily talented and wise and they're better than the other monkeys so they're of course very happy about that. Plus they get part of the tickets because they're um, oops. <laughs> because they're so wise and they're doing such honorable work. And they're of course handpicked by the governing monkey based on the lizard's uh, wise suggestions and um, <coughs> you know advice because the lizards are very wise in nature and they're very slick and intelligent. So he of course tells this governing monkey, he's this trusted advisor, and he tells what's the best move forward in this dangerous world. Because the governing monkey of course also hears their stories, plus now people are coming to him uh, and, and saying that they need help with these um, issues that are going on. The banana diseases and the other monkey tribes and and all the new challenges that are coming. It seems like the banana community is, is like, suddenly the world is so much more dangerous, dangerous place. There's so much uh, increase in, in capacity and understanding that, but also in danger. And that's uh, the governing, mon governing monkey, of course, makes his best to do what the lizard man shows him his best thing to do in order to answer these uh, needs and plus he gets a lot of tickets <laughs> so that's that's how they are now organized but of course that doesn't help with the ticket problem indeed now it seems like the tickets somehow get even more or oh, the banana prices rise even more it's, it's incredible how the banana prices can raise up so much and the monkeys don't seem to get it. it it's like it's the greedy greedy worker monkeys that want more for climbing the trees they're so greedy so evil and there's now a quarrel be between the worker monkeys and the customer monkeys but also uh, it's the greedy uh, plantation monkeys that ask so much of the workers. And of course the shopkeeper monkeys that hand out bananas and trade bananas for gems and stuff and take these tickets and trade them for gems and stuff. They are very greedy because they ask always more and more tickets because it's they're so greedy. That's why the banana prices are going up. 
because people are so greedy. And of course, because a lot of tickets go here, but that's of course, no, no, that's unfathomable that it could be because of anything else. And certainly not because these tickets are being given to this governing monkey and the wise monkey and the other monkey without them actually putting bananas into the capital. But um, that's another story, of course. And, and some monkeys might have said something like that. These older monkeys that saw something weird going on and, and some young monkeys even. So that it seems like the capita is, is emptying somehow. But these old monkeys they don't have to listen to because they're old. That means they're stupid. And they came before so they, they're more stupid because everything that comes after is better. And the young monkeys, they are at first hard to deal with uh, because they cannot immediately be labeled as stupid. But of course, there's a rumor that they haven't gone through the monkey school properly. And many of them haven't gone. Some of them have gone through the monkey school, but not all of them have gone. So they are also ignorant. Plus, this lizard or this, this um, shelter monkeys start telling how dangerous it is that there are these um, conspiracy monkeys telltaling uh, what's it called storytelling monkeys storytelling monkeys that that um, make stories which are not true and that those stories are wild and they're very dangerous because they speak evil of the governing monkey they speak evil of the wise monkey who's very wise and friendly and a nice guy you know which just happens to like bananas and and they even speak of some lizard, like a lizard was telling monkeys what to do. But that's of course, oh, that's unfathomable. Monkeys are proud people. Monkeys would never do what the lizards tell them. Monkeys are uh, a sovereign nation. So of course, now that there's this rumor, not rumor, but absolute truth, because uh, shelter monkeys always tell the truth. Um, now there's this this uh, truth about this these monkeys come up and everyone knows that they're story monkeys so nobody has to listen to them anymore and they are they are kind of swept to the other places where they can be maybe transferred into worker monkeys instead and of course tickets are taken away from them some are put into into these jails previously the monkeys didn't need so many jails there were some evil monkeys but now the storytelling monkeys need to go to jail because they are causing a rebellion and bringing even more uncertainty like as if the monkeys didn't have enough uncertainty already they are living in such a dangerous world with the with the monkeys from the other countries always coming with their tanks banana tanks and and like, like they're always scheming something evil. So there's absolutely no more psychological space for this, these stories, uh, fear mongering. But now um, the monkeys are starting to, uh, as they, as some monkeys get more tickets because uh, the governing monkey uh, makes a policy that these certain types of monkeys, these monkeys that have a longer tail, uh, they should be supported because they have been discriminated against in their society. So the long-tailed monkeys start getting free tickets. And because they have been discriminated against and because they're so um, discriminated against, because they're so victims of their monkey society um, they need a lot of help so they they start receiving these tickets but uh, as a consequence these long-tailed monkeys they uh, now have a lot of free time because they don't have to climb the trees anymore 
Of course, the other monkeys have to climb the trees a lot, but they are not so visible anymore because they they created these large uh, barriers so that you couldn't see into the uh, working places, the banana planta plantations. So, from the perspective of these long-tailed monkeys, that's all they see. Other long-tailed monkeys, which all get tickets, they get every month a certain amount of tickets because they're discriminated against. So, now they are wondering what should we do with these tickets. And, and they think it's so, so hard to go to the shop uh, every time they need bananas to trade the tickets to bananas. So instead, how about we have some um, some application. They have these nice uh, digital systems that when they push the button in the application, um, some worker monkey comes and brings them the bananas. So they don't have to anymore go to the shop. And that's so convenient. Also, they want they uh, get these big towers because now they need more power for the buttons, and they need the buttons to reach farther distances. And and when one presses the button, then it goes to the shop. So they need these towers to make the buttons more effective. And so they create them. Of course, uh, every time they press the button. Um, it goes into the database and there someone can read that database and that someone is the lizard. Lizards are also very good software developers and plus they, they hire a lot of software monkeys to make development for them. So they get a lot of button pushing data, <laughs> data now. And plus they get to send signals through these towers. So now, instead of having monkeys that shout on the streets, they can just uh, have monkeys that speak to microphones. And, and the monkeys can actually stay at home. They can actually stay on their sofa at home and watch this little box here where the shelter monkeys say things. So they don't have to listen to the streets anymore. They don't have to be like, oh, what was that? Let's go here. They don't have to talk to each other anymore because they have these, these things that send signals to other people's, other monkeys' uh, digital devices. And they can chat that way. So they don't need to go, go to the streets and talk anymore. And now they get their information from this little box here. And the boxes, of course, are very useful because they work with these towers. So they need more towers because now they use boxes as well. And of course, because life wasn't good enough, uh, some monkeys get also sick sometime. Especially the worker monkeys seem to get sick because they're working so hard and they're very stressed. Uh, not like that. They're very stressed like this. Oh no. I'm having a fever and um, then of course one, once again this lizard man one of the lizard man uh, has spoken to one other monkey and that's the that's a very respected monkey now after he got a lot of bananas and, and a lot of shouting from the, from the boxes he was promoted a lot in the boxes and, and the shouter monkeys said that He's the best and he's the most talented and and only this monkey, only this monkey can heal other monkeys. So he's the healer monkey now. Although healer monkey was not appropriate name for him, so he became a medical monkey. And he wears nice clothes. And of course he receives a lot of lot of tickets for being a medical monkey. And he also receives these special pills and these special tonics that um, are there to make people feel better. 
the pills make them forget how hard it is to be a worker monkey and the tonics of course make make the fever go away very quickly so he starts giving these tonics and these pills and everything to the worker monkeys as well as to the other monkeys who get sick from time to time because that's the best thing to do and and besides in the boxes it says that that's the only way to get healed like the older monkeys they used to eat these certain si types of leaves some of them went to the monkey church and and there they got healed but today's monkeys they don't listen to those guys anymore and besides it was said and it was written in the medical monkey community because there's many medical monkeys but but very wise the the wisest medical monkeys with according to the newest and best information um, those eating leaves is is like so so last season it is from the stupid time it is from the old and stupid time and now in the modern wise time we use peels so that's uh, that's the the th theory and as well as the truth because it was said by the medical monkeys and and all the other monkeys like all the other monkeys who watch this box so now um, uh, after the fever has gone down the monkeys get sick again after a while so they come back and now they're working for the bananas but they also need to work so that they can get more peels plus the peels taste really good and they're kind of like once you have them you get so like tranquilized that you want more you don't have that much peace anymore without them so the, the monkeys get very shaky and, and nervous when they don't have pills so of course they're gonna need to work a little harder to get tickets for the pills and it's it's uh, i mean it's incredible how even the prices of the pills go up like absolutely that that was that's actually a major uh, almost a war started in the monkey community when they started noticing that the prices of the pills went up and the, the tickets didn't buy as many pills and the monkeys who needed the pills got very like they got frustrated and angry and hopeless and they went to the government governor monkey and said that you have to do something and, and the governor monkey of course did something and he did the wisest thing that he he was told to do by the the lizard man he he took some tickets from the uh, other monkeys that had collected more tickets and he gave them all, to all the sick monkeys so that the sick monkeys could buy more pills And also, the lizard man gave a lot of tickets, started giving a lot of tickets for the governing monkey for this purpose, so that there would be more tickets to give, because without tickets, there's no pills and no bananas. So these guys started to get more tickets, but also only, only on that condition that they buy pills with them. But of course, uh, as, as a trade for that, they uh, had to choose a specific type of governor approved pills because you cannot buy any any kind of trash with those you know tickets because they're given by the governor monkey and they're his tickets because he take took them from the other monkeys and uh, so now there's high regulation on on the pills as well as the bananas uh, and it was also forbidden to eat leaves Otherwise, the monkey insurance companies wouldn't give insurances to, to monkeys to get more pills. So that, that was a major uh, chapter in, in the monkey community. 
Now we're moving to the final chapter in the monkey community's story. And in this chapter, now that the monkeys have a lot of towers here, and they of course have a lot of cameras all over the place as well, because uh, the world is such a dangerous place that you need, need to watch what the monkey is doing in order to get the evil monkeys from out, out of them because sometimes and that's a very stra tragic thing sometimes it is said that the monkeys carry these sticks sticks that shoot pew, pew. and um, recently there has been a lot more stories of monkeys with the pew pews that um, have gone to places of monkey celebrations and have used the choo choos and that's um, that's why it is important that the choo choos be taken out of monkeys because uh, those kind of evil monkeys uh, need to be stopped and, and every monkey can be an evil monkey if they have a choo choo even the best monkey can be an evil monkey. You can never trust your neighbor monkeys anymore because they might have choo-choo, so they might be evil. So any monkey that sees a choo-choo must tell their closest police monkey and the police monkey will come and take the choo-choo away. And if they don't give the choo-choo, they will choo-choo them. Pew, pew. Sorry for the violence. That's a it's a it's a violent story. Of course, the monkeys themselves have not seen those um, those choo choo bang bangs, but they have seen seen. On the other hand, like they have not seen them personally, but they have seen so many choo choo bang bangs in the in the stories in the broadcasts that it must be true and it's everywhere. And they need to be careful. So, so they have towers, they have cameras, they have taken away the choo choo bang bangs, and um, they have these passport uh, checkpoints. And every monkey must now carry a, a passport that says what kind of monkey they are. Are they a worker monkey or are they a long tailed monkey? And also their name and their address, where to find them in case something goes wrong and and only monkeys that get this stamp of acceptance from the police monkeys and the governance monkeys can get through these checkpoints dangerous monkeys such as story monkeys they don't get to move they are too dangerous and and now there's so much uh, this this evil monkeys that you hear from the from the boxes these broadcasting boxes that you really need to be careful and there needs to be more security as well and, and the monkeys need to feel secure so that's why they get the cameras and the and the checkpoints and of course uh, now the traveling cars that the monkeys used they used to be this this old diesel operated vehicles but now they're all electric because electric is is better and besides the monkeys were told and that's according to the latest information so that must that's invalidates of course all the old information and the latest information is that the the monkey planet is dying and the all the bananas are, are going on and actually it is the monkeys that are so many monkeys are evil like all monkeys are evil even the monkeys watching the boxes are evil because they're killing the monkey planet they're killing the bananas and they're killing the society monkey society so they must be regulated and that means that they have to give up their old cars that gave out this this that makes the monkey planet die because the monkey planet dies because of the 
because that's what it says. That's what the intelligent monkeys told in the monkey schools. And only the wisest monkeys, of course, got to know that information. And, and because they're wisest, they're also correct. And because the correct monkeys think that way, that's the way it is, because they think that way. So that's why they had to remove these uh, gasoline cars and change into electric vehicles. And um, of course, if someone saw their neighbor using a gasoline car, of course, they couldn't even get one anymore. But even if they saw that, they could report it to the police monkey and the police monkey would take that car away. But now, of course, at least the monkey planet is saved and everyone's safe and secure. It just happens that also the lizard and the programming monkeys and the programming lizards get to see through every camera. They get to check every checkpoint. They can check which monkey can go through each checkpoint and they can track where each monkey is based on these towers. But that is the price you have to pay. And besides, who cares? I mean, that's what the story monkeys speak about. And that's humbug. Because story monkeys speak about it. Because they're story monkeys. And they're dangerous. So you don't have to listen to story monkeys. Because they're story monkeys. <laughs> so, mo many monkeys think that there's no lizards. Many monkeys haven't even heard of lizards. And that's how the monkey life goes. Somehow the tickets buy less and less bananas. Monkeys have to work harder. There seems to be less monkeys around. And they're talking about that monkeys are being becoming too num numerous. So they have to give up their little baby monkeys to the medical monkeys so that the medical monkeys can choose which are the best monkeys it is very sad but it is also the duty of every monkey citizen in order to save the monkey planet because the gases are making the planet die it is very sad but fortunately for the monkeys these wise monkeys have told the new generation of monkeys who don't listen to the old generation of monkeys because this generation is the wisest generation of monkeys yet they were born with these electronic signaling devices and they know how to use these boxes more better so they are the wisest Be besides they were told in school that everything that comes later is better, including them. They are the best monkeys. They are the proudest monkeys of the proud monkey nation. Uh, they even have this pro promotion of proudness days because they are the best monkeys. And they have the best cultural behavior because they discovered that. They discovered many things, basically. Let's not go there. And, um, but they have discovered in the latest monkey science that these little monkeys that used to be called monkey babies are now monkey blobos. And blobos are not real monkeys. So blobos, when they're dangerous, the monkey society can be discarded in order to save the monkey planet. And that's the right thing to do. And and if you if you're a monkey and if you see some other monkey that's not following the regulations, that's trying to save, that's trying to save their blobo, that's so selfish that they would keep their blobo and not give it to the medical monkeys. It's a very dangerous. I mean, that's a, that monkey probably has a bang bang somewhere. Puchitik. Uh, stick and probably is, is designing something evil and probably tells stories to his friends 
and probably I mean that's what the other monkeys say is working for the other country monkeys so of course you have to tell your closest police monkey so that they can come and take that evil evil monkey away remember that's an important thing and that's the peace that the monkey nation lives in it is a very hard life for the monkeys full of fear and moving is difficult sometimes and if they are a little bit sick they cannot move and of course they have to carry those passports around but of course this new generation doesn't have to carry passports they can carry the electronic devices instead and they can only buy what the electronic device tells them and they can only speak what the electronic device tells them and of course they can only speak according to what the boxes say and what the governing monkey says because he's he's correct and he has the right to take bananas from other monkeys and tickets so that's that's the world but monkey world but there's uh, more to this story it's not it's not yet fully uh, over for these monkeys because there's another type of monkey and actually there was one one person who came and died for the monkeys so that they could become new monkeys they could become spiritual monkeys and that they could serve instead of serving the govern well, governing monkey they could serve this this person that raised from the dead and now lives in in the sky it's an interesting story and, and only told by story monkeys certain kind of story monkeys they they keep telling that there's this person that makes them new monkeys and that the new monkeys are happy and they don't need pills because they have like peace in their heart they are feeling good and they have a meaning to their life and but the other monkeys don't like them too much because they're not following the governing monkeys uh, orders always because they serve another governor and the governing monkey doesn't like that no nobody likes that nobody likes evil people who they see in the boxes that are evil so they start attacking these other monkeys with with their st stones and reporting them to the police monkeys but these monkeys just tell about this monkey monkey king this this person here that helped them and that has given them new life and and that they somehow seem to sometimes get away from jail like like without anyone opening the doors and and sometimes sometimes they die though because they are burned on the on the stake some some are killed with other measures because they don't follow the governing monkey and they don't say that the governing monkey has has the right to take tickets and has the right to tell how things are done in this monkey society and because they don't do that they're dangerous but they they have a real monkey king uh, who's not a monkey <laughs> and um, they start building their own monkey village and they start talking about how to do things how, how this new king told them to do things and how he has teached them and they start sharing that and they start living according to what what the king the, the new king told them and they start rejecting what this governing monkey told them to do and what the box monkeys the broadcasting monkeys told them to do and they only start listening to this person this person who raised from the dead and 
it is very strange, but their pla banana plantations seem to bring more bananas. Of course, they don't have as much much plantations because so oftentimes these police monkeys come and try to attack them and burn their banana plantations. But what they have is is producing a lot, and they don't use these tickets. They are trading bananas again because the king said that it's better. Because the king said it's not good to use different measures and these sort of vague measures that things should be traded equally. Anyway, but that's another story as well. And that's how they started to live a, a new life. But in the beginning it was very, very difficult and many, many monkeys lost their lives because they had these towers and these checkpoints. It, the previous the normal monkeys had them and um, every time they tried to go through a checkpoint they, uh, the police monkeys took them away so it was it was very hard for them but this this person protected them and helped them to build a better place and to invite other monkeys also to come into this better place and also to live better and, and to have their own better places wherever they are in the monkey earth. So that's our little story about monkeys. I hope you <laughs> found it edifying and, and maybe discovered some things. See you next time.